okay good afternoon today we are in the lecture 13 so in the last classes we have completed the manometers the problems on the manometers and mechanical pressure gauges so what is the instrument used for the checking of the pressure inside a fluid checking of the pressure inside a container of a fluid by using mechanical device nothing nothing but the button mechanical pressure gauge so i said the example also so if you see the button gauge if you see the button gauge it just look like in this fashion so this is a button gauge the head of the button gauge where you can see this one in your puncture shop or any mechanic shop so at the bottom you are having a stylus you are having a probe this one presses right this is connected to your pipe so this is connected to a some pipe where the puncture shop person is having right this is connected to the pipe where that where that person is having different different pipes at this place at this junction what the person will do he will connect the probe to the cycle tube and he will check the air then this plunger goes upwards and makes this dial to move in this forward direction so it gives a reading of the liquid or it gives a reading of the gas so like this the bodden tube pressure gauges are the most common type in the many areas used to measure the medium to high range of pressures so what is the covering 600 bar to the 4000 bar the measuring element is a curved tube with a circular spiral coiled shape commonly called as a bodden tube so inside you are having a tube which is in a circular coiled shape known as bodden the name of the scientist this tube moves outwards when the pressure inside the tube is higher than that of the external pressure so what happens this tube moves outwards when the pressure inside of the tube is higher than the external pressure and inward when the internal pressure is lower just vice versa this motion is proportional to the pressure to be measured and it is coupled to the pointer mechanism this is coupled to the pointer mechanism inside meeku coils coils ga untundi lopala right this is coil coils and it is placed in this direction and other end is placed to the this pointer so like this the bottom tube pressure gauges are used for checking the fluid or gases in a particular point in any container now the next topic in this uh, hydrostatics is the buoyancy is a buoyancy so when when does any object is float is immersed in the liquid you can get the exp experience of buoyancy then what is the meaning of buoyancy here when a body is immersed wholly when a body is immersed wholly or partially in a liquid it is subjected to it is subjected to a tensile pressure which tends to lift the body so it is subjected to a to a load which tends to lift the body that is a bio lift means boyoy lift means boyoy it up so subjected to an upward force so manaki eppudaithe first oka rai oka object plastic ball vestamo it first dips and comes upward this tendency of a immersed body to be lifted up in the fluid due to an force is nothing but the gravity the gravity is known as buoyancy the gravity is known as buoyancy that is the meaning of the buoyancy right the tendency what is the tendency the tendency of the tendency of moving the object upwards right due to the upward force due to the upward force opposite to the action of gravity is known as buoyancy so first time you ever know a plastic ball rubber ball this kind of water lo immerse chesthe pine ji kinda padesthe just it takes the gravity pull downwards to certain extent in the water again it comes upwards this phenomena is known as buoyancy next the force tending to lift up the body under such conditions is known as buoyancy force is known as buoyant force or force of buoyancy or up thrust and up is known as up thrust the point of application of the force of buoyancy the point of application of the force of buoyancy on the body is known as center of buoyancy 
is known as center of buoyancy next the magnitude of the buoyant force can be determined by archimedes principle so ee buoyancy archimedes principle meer physics subject lo already meer nerchukone untaru right the magnitude the magnitude of buoyant force can be determined by using what principle archimedes principle which states that which what the principle says when a body is immersed in a fluid either wholly or partially ante complete la munigina ledante sagam munigina it is buoyed or lifted up by the force which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body so eppudaithe meeru oka 200 grams of ball immerse chesaro water lo padesaro so completely or partially whenever it is immersed in the liquid so the lift up force edaithe neelallo munigi paiki lestundo that force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced weight of the fluid displaced ante whenever you are dumping a object in the water a area ni edaithe cover chestundo that area is totally taken by the weight of the liquid displaced by the body that is according to this principle buoyant force buoyant force is equals to weight of the fluid displaced by the body buoyant force is equal to weight of the liquid displaced by the body now if you see that this is the surface of the water if the surface of the water so when now the object is dipped in the water when now the object see this object a b c d is dipped in the water is dipped in the water what happens the center of force g acting on the center right the b the force is the force is making to immerse downwards and the f2 force is lifting upwards lifting upwards displacing the area of this water right now f and c e and f are the the limits maximum limits of the object which are immersed in the liquid now by considering this object by the geometry consider the abc body abcd completely submerged in the fluid as shown in the figure the body abcd is considered to the acted on horizontal forces and vertical forces so object abcd immerse in tarvata two forces are acting on that what are the two forces one is horizontal force other one is a vertical force what happens to the horizontal force let's see when which act on the surface a b d and b c d horizontal force ekkada ekkada a b d and b c d so it is covering total area horizontally so ikkada nunchi ikkadiki ikkada nunchi ikkadiki right next a b d and b c d are equal and opposite and so that the net horizontal force is equal to zero so what it is saying the horizontal forces are zero next the vertical forces f1 the vertical force and f1 coming downwards the vertical forces vertically downwards acting downwards and the f f2 force e is moving upwards and the lower surface equals to the weight of the volume ad cb the volume of the ad cb ad cb means c is one a d c b from this side from down to up in the in the other case it is from top to bottom right next then by according principle then by according to archimedes principle the buoyancy force fb fb is nothing but buoyancy force is equals to weight of the volume of the fluid adcef minus weight of the volume of the fluid abcef ab adcef what is adcef a d c e f a d c e f that is a what volume of this fluid versus minus a b c e f what is a b c e f a b c e f e balance in jesara this one is a a b c e f and this one is a total a d c e f a d c e f now what it is saying this minus this then what is the weight weight of the volume of the body weight of the volume of fluid is a b c d weight of the volume is a b c d anta kada the object what you have taken is a b c d pai nunchi vachina buoyancy force vachesi this one kinda nunchi total ga teeskunnadi 
ఫైవ్ వరకు తీసుకున్నదైతే దిస్ వన్ నౌ ద వెయిట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్లూయిడ్ డిస్ప్లేస్డ్ బై ద సబ్జెక్ట్ బాడీ డబ్ల్యూ వెయిట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్లూయిడ్ డిస్ప్లేస్డ్ బై ద సబ్జెక్ట్ బాడీ డబ్ల్యూ అని మనము తీసుకుంటే దట్ ఈస్ ఎఫ్ బి ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు డబ్ల్యూ ఎఫ్ బి ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు డబ్ల్యూ దెన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కండిషన్స్ హియర్ డబ్ల్యూ ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ బి డబ్ల్యూ ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఎఫ్ బి ద బాడీ టెన్స్ టు మూవ్ డౌన్వర్డ్స్ eventually sinks so eppudaithe weight greater than buoyancy force aithe body anedi body anedi em jarugutundi melliga munigi potundi right when w is equals to fb eppudaithe w fb rendu equal ga untayo weight lo the body floats and is only partially submerged so ipudu partially submerged ki examples em cheptamu nothing but a ship a boat right so these are the objects where the buoyancy force is equals to weight of the fluid displaced by the submerged body so weight of the fluid submerged body w is equals to the buoyancy force okay na then the example senti ship anamata then the example senti eventually sinks just like a stone next when the weight is less than fb when the weight is less than buoyancy force the body is lifted upwards and rises to the surface what is this example just like your any rubber ball or any wooden plank sorry for the interruption we have some technical problem so it is resolved okay sorry for the technical issues okay we'll continue so when w is is equal to fb when w is equals to fb it is floating on the body on it is sub partially submerged example ships example the ships are floating submerged so some some amount of ship is under liquid next when it is rises when it is less than fb it rises so understood so that is a concept of the buoyancy that is a concept of buoyancy next one now we'll see now we'll see how the hydrostatic forces are applied in a real time when the objects are submerged in a different different areas now the next new topic is the last topic the last part in the unit 1 is introduction to the hydrostatics so initially we have start discussed about pascal's law and hydrostatics law now based on the the hydrostatics what is the things we have to discuss in this uh, part 2 is hydrostatic forces acting on submerged plane that is the first one then hydrostatic forces acting horizontally hydrostatic forces acting vertically on the object hydrostatic forces acting inclined to the surface of the objects hydrostatic forces acting on the curved surfaces and what is the center of pressure of a object which is submerged in the body or floating in the water floating on the water so these are the cases we have to study and we have to derive the formula based on this formula you are having some problems based on this hydrostatics right now we'll discuss each of them in detail with every concept you are having a derivation for formula and based on that we will do minimum two or three problems in each in each case there is a horizontal case vertical case inclined case curved cases right okay so so first we'll see what is the total pressure or the total pressure or center of pressure center of pressure so what it is saying the total pressure is defined as the total pressure is defined as the force exerted by the static fluid static fluid and when the when the fluid is in rest the pressure is defined total pressure is defined as the force exerted by the static fluid on the surface either plane or curved either plane or curved either it is a plane surface the plane surface ka avachu curved surface ka avachu plane surface is just a wooden plank curved surface means it is a boat or any steamer okay the total pressure is defined as a force exerted by the static fluid on the surface when the fluid comes in contact with the surface when the fluid comes in 
contact us for example is ship anukundam so when the fluid is coming and touching this uh, surface of the object this forces act normal to the surface so what happens this forces are acting normal to the surface next center of pressure what is the center of pressure here so it is defined as a point of application to the total pressure on the surface ante kada so whenever you are having a whenever you are having a ship like this steamer so whenever the water is when now the water is shown in this way right when now the water is shown in this direction what you will say here what you will say here so here you can say here you can say here the object is partially submerged inside the body thereby whenever the liquid comes in contact with the object this forces always act normal to the surface next the center of pressure is defined as the point of application of the total pressure on the surface so ipudu deniki ee total steamer ki boat ki center of pressure ekkada untundi it is acting vertically downwards there are four cases of for submerged surfaces on which a total pressure force and the center of pressure is to be determined the submerged surfaces may be the submerged surfaces may be what are the submerged surfaces vertical plane surface horizontal plane surface inclined plane surface and curved surface plane surfaces so these are the different different platforms different different platforms where the objects are submerged on the water now we'll discuss each and everything in detail with the derivation formulas and problems take the first one take the first one when the body is when the object is in a vertical plane surface submerged in the liquid so when the object is vertical plane surface submerged in a liquid now see the first case now take a free surface of a liquid ante oka water iskonde oka container oka open water container iskonde now consider a plane surface consider a plane vertical surface of arbitrary shape any shape immersed in the liquid as shown in the figure so id oka object iskonde take this object take this object you can name it as anything take this irregular polygonal or other poly, other type of objects object and dip vertically inside the water surface now now let a is the total area of the surface so make it as a so ee shape undi kada take it as total area a is a surface next h not is the distance of center of gravity of the area from the free surface of liquid so deeniki center of gravity oka place to pettukoni danni g ani cheppandi danni g center of gravity of place of that is g and what is h dash here the h dash unde enti center of gravity epudaithe meer kanukkunnaro aa center of gravity nunchi the top surface of the liquid see here the denotation the the noted as h not right next p is the center of pressure p is equals to center of pressure okay na next h no h star is a distance of center of pressure from free surface of the liquid what is the h here what is a h is a h not h not is the center the distance between the surface of the fluid to the pressure center of the pressure okay ab is the total height of the object b is also the height of the object now now if you take the total pressure into consideration what is the total pressure f the total pressure on the surface may be determined by dividing the entire surface into the parallel strips now consider a strip of thickness so total pressure kavalante take some strips take some sample of strip from the water surface it may be it may be in any direction so take this cross section you can take any strip of cross section okay na so this force of small tip then calculated the total pressure force on the whole area is to be calculated by integrating the force on a small strip so this small strip ni manam isukoni దీన్ని మనం ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ చేసి దీనిలో నుంచి మనము ఫోర్సెస్ ని క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయాలి ఓకేనా నా కన్సిడర్ స్ట్రిప్ ఆఫ్ థిక్నెస్ డిహెచ్ 
సో ఒక ఆబ్జెక్ట్ మీద ఒక జస్ట్ ఒక లైన్ వేసుకోండి సో మనకి ఇక్కడ కన్వీనియంట్ గా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఇది కాదు సో జస్ట్ మనకి కన్వీనియంట్ గా మనకి డైమెన్షన్స్ బాగా తెలుస్తుంది కాబట్టి మేక్ ఇట్ యాస్ డిహెచ్ అండ్ విత్ బి ద విత్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వన్ ఈస్ బిగ్ ద విత్ ఈస్ బి అండ్ ద డెప్త్ ఈస్ హెచ్ అండ్ ద డెప్త్ ఈస్ హెచ్ from the free surface of the liquid showed in the figure now the pure intensity on the top the pressure sorry the pressure intensity on the strip is equals to pressure p is equals to rho into g into h idi mana mundu cheptunna formula pressure p is equals to rho into g into h then then area of the strip is equals to this is a derivation derivation the problem that is area of the strip is equals to d a into b minus d h d a is equals to b into d h okay next total pressure force on the strip therefore total pressure force is equals to force is equals to f is equals to p into area therefore do f therefore d f is equals to p into area then what is p here rho into g into h rho into d into h Plus, d into h into and what is the area here the area is the area is b into d what is the area i don't know the area then what is the area to find out breadth into width b into d h now the total pressure for the force on the whole surfaces what is the integration f is equals to integrate df df is equals to integration of p rho g h into length into width into height that is equal to rho g h that is a p b that is a depth or a height d h now after integrating after integrating so rho g h the integration of b into d into d h that is equal to that is equal to rho into okay f is equals to integral of d f that is equals to rho into g into b into dh that is equals to rho g into b into dh then by the this question sir b into h into dh that implies rho into b into h into dh that is equals to h into this one this one the h into s into b into d em avutundi b into d is area that is equals to da that is this one this is the value what you have got from the upper equation this one right now the moment of surface area about the free surface of the liquid is is rho into b into h into d h that is equal to rho into d into d a moment of surface about the free of the surface that is equals to area of surface into distance of c g from the surface so area of the surface a from the figure from the figure h not and d center distance from the surface now force is equals to rho into g into a into h right na now force is equals to rho into g into a into h rho into g automatically undi a into h anedi ikkada just multiplication ayyandi now from the water from the from the for the water the value of p is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube telisinde and for g is equals to 9.81 meter per second square that is also known the force will be in the newtons no force will be in the newton the first total pressure i can now what is the second thing you have to consider you have to consider the center of pressure the second one is the center of pressure center of pressure h now the center of pressure is calculated by using the principle of moments using this principle of moments therefore the moment of force df acting on the strip about the free surface of the liquid is equals to is equals to df into h where is df df is equals to పైన మనం ముందు చెప్తున్నట్టు రో ఇంటూ జి ఇంటూ హెచ్ ఇంటూ బి ఇంటూ డి హెచ్ దిస్ వన్ బి ఇంటూ డి హెచ్ దిస్ వన్ రో ఈస్ దిస్ రో ఇంటూ జి ఇంటూ బి ఇంటూ డి హెచ్ నౌ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద మూమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ యాక్టింగ్ అబౌ ఫ్రీస్ ఆర్ లిక్విడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు సమ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు రూట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ రో జి హెచ్ ఇంటూ బి ఇంటూ డి హెచ్ ఇంటూ హెచ్ so bin ke enje sadu bin integrate chesadu now rho g is coming outside b into dh into h dh that is b into h into dh okay na next
that implies that implies rho into g rho into g integral b h into h h square b h square b h that is equals to b h square plus b h is equals to b rho g into h square b into a h square h square that is b rho g that is equals to b a where since b d h is equals to b a since b d h is equals to d a that is a so ikkada maniki h square atane pakkana vedesamo d into d into h is equals to 40 so that is the value of it done now now but integral of h square d a integral of h square d a is equals to integral of b h square d h integral b h square d h so din manam konnu change chesukochu now the moment of inertia on the surface of the free surface of fluid is equals to i not this is a free surface now the sum of moments accrues by the surfaces the sum of moments accrues by the so about the free surface is equals to rho into g into i not rho into g into i not rho into g into moment of inertia next equating 3.2 and 3.3 so what is the 3.2 this is a 3.2 and equating 3.3 what we are getting here so we have again some technical problem so bear with me for some more time so be patient okay we got the again slide now the sum is equals to rho into g into i not where moment of inertia we have calculated now equating 3.2 and 3.3 force into h is equals to rho into g into i not therefore f is equals to f is equals to rho into g into a into h so h at the end rho into g into a h therefore rho into g into a h into h not is equals to rho into g into i not okay now now this one is equals to this we are just we are compressing the equation now h star is equals to what is the h star in the figure that is a h star see the h star the h star this one from here to the center of the pressure p the distance of center of pressure from the surface of the liquid h star is equals to this one so here rho g rho g cancel i not by i not by a h now by the theorem of parallel axis i not is equals to ig plus a into h square ig plus a into h square where ig is equals to moment of inertia about an axis passing through center of gravity of area and parallel to the surface of the liquid substituting i not in the equation 4 so here i not this will substitute just a h not is equals to e form e value down the substitute just a we are getting this total formula ig by a h into ig by a h plus h dash now equation 3.5 h h dash is the distance of cg of an area of a vertical surface from the center of the liquid hence from the equation it is clear that center of pressure h star is lies below the center of gravity of the vertical surface of the okay now so this is a, what is saying it is laying below the center of gravity the pressure p the center of pressure p is lying below the center of gravity that is proved this lies below the center of gravity then the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface of liquid is independent to the density of the liquid so these are the two conditions satisfied now for the next one here so the next thing whenever you are doing the problems whenever you are getting the problems here whenever you are doing the problems so you have to keep some properties the shapes of the objects into mind and you have to write the formula so e formula so we call it strength of materials i think in sm we call it subject only down low pula make derivation so how you are getting this one you will detail you will study okay now we'll see the basic formulas for the rectangle so if you take a rectangle a b c d rectangle with the center of gravity g the center of gravity g 
what is here center of gravity so center of gravity from the base is equals to center of gravity g is equals to x take a x by 2 x by 2 that is a half x is equals to total d by 2 total d by 2 times next what is the area here length into breadth that is b into d next moment of inertia about an axis passing through cg and parallel to the base ig so the formula the derivation is already in the various subject load derivation but we'll see rectangle ki e formulas meeru gurtu pettuko vali but triangle you have to keep this formulas in mind okay na next if you see for rectangle you are having b d cube b into d there is b into d cube divided by 12 then moment of inertia about ig moment of inertia about i naught is the uh, base is equals to bd cube by 3 because bd cube by 12 that is ig moment of inertia passing axis about an axis through cg but here moment of inertia is bd cube by 3 next take the second one triangle next the second one is triangle so what is the second one triangle cg from the base from the base x is equals to h by 3 times h by 3 times so here the for a triangle it is the center of gravity this is the center from the center of gravity to the downwards you are having x this is a b this is a h now b into h divided by 2 b into h divided what is the area here b into h divided by 2 next what is the moment of inertia passing axis b h cube by 36 b h cube by 36 what is the moment of inertia about the base b h cube by 12 so final numerator lower and the window okay la gunna and see here only the thing when now it is passing about an axis upper monarchy change out on 36 ninchi 12 to change out on the ikra 12 ninchi 3 to change out on the to understand to mug up to by heart you can take some logics like this okay na? next the next one next one for circular for circle what is the center of cg from the base x is equals to d by 2 x is equals to d by 2 so what is the area the area is pi d square by 4 so pi d square by 4 then what is the moment of inertia passing axis pi d 4 by 64 pi d square by 64 moment of inertia about the base we don't have the base that's why it is not applied next trapezium say the fourth one trapezium then what is the center of cg from the base x is equals to now see the just the dimensions here this one is a a this one is a b this one is the total height this one is the center of gravity this one is a x now x is equals to 2 of 2 of a plus b divided by a plus b into h by 3 this is a cg from the base then what is the area here a plus b by 2 into h Next, what is the moment of inertia? A square plus 4ab plus b square divided by 36 of a plus b into h cube. So these are the values you have to keep in mind before solving the questions. So whenever the questions come, when based upon these objects, whenever they are submerged vertically inside the object. So by using this formula, by using this formula, we have to find the answers. So in the next class, we will start some problems based upon the vertical plane surface right understood okay so with this we'll stop the class we'll continue in the next class as i am having other class right everything is fine right the derivations the concept you have understood just message me okay or not okay So the today attendance is uh, four members. Oh, sorry, three members you attended. So anything to discuss?
okay so in the next class we'll start the problems based upon the based upon the object when now it is submerged in the vertical fashion okay what's the time okay so thank you thank you for listening patiently